I've already played Brawlhalla in quite a few ways, but I figured I wanted to play the game in even more unique ways, so I decided I would do some friendly 2v2s with one catch. That being, I have no idea who my partner is. I'm just gonna start this straight away by saying whoever the random person I get matched with is, I'm sorry in advance, because I am not very good at this game. Alright, it looks like we have a similar team, except instead of this small young lady, we have this giant ass snapping turtle, which, uh, well, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like we're a bit underpowered because of that, but we'll, we'll hope for the best as much as we can. I'm gonna be honest, I already cannot tell what is happening. I just see my partner flying around while the other guy's doing the same exact thing over and over again. This guy's summoning dragons, I just, I'm, I'm completely lost. I couldn't even begin to fathom what's happening here. Oh my god, I can't even tell what's happening. This is, uh, at least, at least me and my partner seem like we're on equal footing, so I don't really feel too bad that we're losing, at least. I thought I just killed myself on accident, I'm gonna be honest. And, uh, friendly fire is not on? That is a good positive to learn right now, because if it wasn't on, I really think I would have no hope whatsoever, even less so than I do right now. Fuck! Uh, wait, oh, I'm, I have one more, I have one more, I thought we were done. The dream continues, the dream lives on. I think, I think that little bit right there, I think now we're just motivated to win. Uh, hopefully that, that's the case, at least. Oh, just barely missing, I think that might have killed as well. Uh, yeah, it would have, but you know. It's fine, we're just gonna do it anyways, and my partner's disconnected. He really does not have hope in me, huh? Well, you didn't have hope in me, partner? Well, guess what? You were right. All right, so that first match went about as well as I thought it could. So uh, let's do another round now that we officially have our warm-up game out of the way. Because that's all that was. That was just a warm-up game, you know. I I didn't think that would be a good match because you know I wasn't warmed up. I haven't played Brawl Hole in forever. Like yeah, you guys get it. We're gonna we're gonna dominate now. That's all we need to worry about. Okay. Uh. I thought I was doing really well. I was kind of locked in, so I had like no commentary to make. And then I just randomly got caught in the shuffle and died. So, what are we learning here? What's the moral of this story? Even if you think you're doing good, never discount yourself. You can always fuck up somehow. Alright, luckily it looks like my partner wants to carry the weight after all my fuck ups though, which I am a-okay with, honestly. Oh my god, okay. He just recklessly approached me and I just so happened to neutral attack, neutral strong attack, and now he's dead. I really was not expecting that to even hit, that was just being used as a get off me tool. And I just got little brother carried to the end of the game, I'll be honest, but if they want to rematch, this guy's a great partner, I say we do it. And already the guy is trying to run off of a cliff, he's scared of our power, it's okay, I understand. Oh my gosh, whoa, 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 already? Honestly, I'm just gonna speed that up, but that was like no time at all. And what team synergy from us? That's, oh my God, that's a beautiful start to the game. You, If I wasn't recording and I actually like this or that, I can't speak because I'm so amazed. It, it looked like that was fake, I'll be honest. Oh my goodness. Dude, this guy is insane. What level is this guy? Okay, that guy literally just jumped off of a cliff. I guess we'll take that. And aw, oh, we've had good team synergy the entire game, but unfortunately in that one, it did come to bite us. We, we had a, our first misplay of the entire game, and it doesn't even matter. This guy's cracked. And as good of a teammate as that guy was, I do think I should probably move on because, you know... We need some more variety in this game. Yeah, they're really good, but life is all about the ups and downs, and we've had some pretty monumental ups, so we're gonna crash the ground real quick, in my opinion. Dude, this map feels so small, and by proxy, everybody on this map looks like they're turbo speed. Everybody on this map has the speed of the flash while having the, the size of Ant-Man. And when I say size of Ant-Man, I don't mean traditional Ant-Man. I mean in Marvel movies, whenever he just expands to maximum size that that's the ant-man we're talking about okay fair enough play on their end i can i okay i walked into that these guys are these guys are crazy these guys are cracked i don't think we're good enough to deal with them you have this dominating okay game 
Okay. That's just rude. They say dominating right there after I got killed by the Lin Fei all three times. Like, it's true, but it just hurts. Well, I didn't lie to you. We were due for a big shutdown. So now, now that we've gotten our monumental high and our subsequent monumental low right in a row, I think that we are finally ready for like an actual decent match that we might win. Never mind. Look at that thing right there. Like, I don't know what that Hattori has. I don't know why it has all those different markings on it. But all I can tell you is that those markings mean that they are probably better than me at the game. I mean, being better than me is not really a high criteria at the end of the day, but still, I am horrified of that person. Like, they have already won the mental battle in this section of the war. And just like that, I have now won the mental battle. And I have now turned the tides in my own favor. Oh my goodness, dude, I'm getting, like, these cheeky-ass edge kills. Like, this is... They are pissed right now because, like, I didn't earn them. I'm just getting very, very lucky in these situations. I'm just gonna stay away and okay I got my weapon now I can engage I was trying to run at first because you know I fought people with just my fists and brawl hollow before and you know depending on the type of player you're going against it's a bit of a hard task so uh, yeah I didn't want to deal with that right now oh my goodness I had no idea what was happening there. I was properly bamboozled by the game in that instance. Like, I thought I was far enough away. I thought I was so far enough away from the edge. I thought I was high enough in the air. I thought I would not get spiked, no matter what happened. Uh, I need to stop thinking things in this game, apparently, because they're always wrong every single time without fail. There we are! I actually won the game for us. That's improvement right there. I will take it. And just like that, my momentum and my high horse has all been properly taken away. Cause like, what the fuck is Ezio's thing? Why is, why was that character banner like that? That's, I mean, last time it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, but I'm still gonna be scared of it nonetheless. Oh my gosh, and Last time I was proving myself wrong. This time I'm actually going back on my beliefs and I'm proving myself right this time. These guys, they are crazy. They're definitely in the same room. They're definitely not new to this like I am. Everything is wrong about this team combo right here. And it's all working against me to make me very upset. I will say I have one kill on them. That is something. And my partner's also doing a decent bit of work as well. So we aren't hopelessly outclassed uh, okay never mind we're hopelessly outclassed i got my kill earlier but i got my got back i got my get back we are done now we cannot do anything about these two they're pissed they have purpose what the fuck how did i kill him all right i just spammed the smash attack three times in a row and it worked see that's the thing whenever you're fighting good players you just turn the brain off and then all of a sudden the match gets infinitely easier because with good players you know they're ready for anything you can do. They're ready for any strategy. But as the old saying goes, you can't outgame the mindless. I, I fucked up that joke really badly. That's embarrassing. And that was... I don't have an excuse for that. And you know, as they say, no matter how good you are a game, no matter how smart you are, at the end of the day, you can't mind game the mindless. And... You know, my partners, they could carry the footing all they needed to, they could do this or that, they could play the game properly, but at the end of the day, I provided the much needed coverage of just spamming the smash attack over and over again until something happened.